Have you ever wondered about the complex machinery that runs behind your every thought, every emotion, and every action? Welcome to the final episode of our neuroscience series. Throughout this journey, we've explored the intricate workings of the brain, from its fundamental building blocks to its complex functions and implications for human behavior and well-being. In this recap episode, we'll reflect on the insights gained, the discoveries made, and the profound impact of neuroscience on our understanding of the mind and brain. Let's take a moment to revisit the basic building blocks of this intricate universe, the neurons. Imagine a bustling city teeming with life and activity. This city is your brain, and the tireless workers keeping everything running smoothly are the neurons. Each neuron, like a dedicated city worker, performs its unique job of sending and receiving signals. These signals, like messages buzzing across town, are the neurotransmitters. They zip around the city, delivering vital information from one neuron to another. But our brain city is not a monotonous landscape. It's an intricate map of distinct regions, each with its own unique role. Picture these regions as the various departments in a city. There's the amygdala, our emotional control center, akin to a city's heart. The hippocampus responsible for memory storage is like the city's library, always cataloging and storing information. The frontal lobe, our decision-making hub, can be compared to the mayor's office, making important decisions for the city's well-being. Now let's not forget about the neurotransmitters, our city's messages. They're like the postman of the brain, delivering signals between neurons. Dopamine, for instance, is like a special delivery of good news, often associated with feelings of pleasure and reward. Serotonin, on the other hand, keeps the city's morale up, playing a crucial role in mood regulation. Just like a well-oiled machine, each part of our brain works in harmony to ensure our body functions smoothly. And just like a city, our brain is a complex dynamic system always changing and adapting. It's an intricate dance of signals and responses, a testament to the marvel of nature that is the human brain. So the next time you marvel at a beautiful sunset, remember the bustling city inside your head, the diligent neurons, and the busy neurotransmitters that made that moment of awe possible. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into this fascinating world in our next episode. As we continue our journey through the wonders of neuroscience, remember, every thought, every emotion, every action begins in this bustling city we call the brain. Imagine your brain as an adaptable, ever-changing landscape. It's a concept known as neuroplasticity, a fancy term that simply means our brains have the remarkable ability to rewire and adapt based on our experiences. Let's take a stroke survivor's recovery journey as an example. A stroke can cause significant damage to certain parts of the brain, often leading to a loss of function. But here's where neuroplasticity swoops in to save the day. The brain begins to reroute tasks and functions to undamaged areas. It's like a detour sign popping up in the middle of a traffic jam, directing cars to a less congested route. Over time, with consistent therapy and practice, the survivor may regain abilities they lost, all thanks to the brain's incredible ability to adapt and change. It's like a phoenix rising from the ashes, isn't it? Our brains are much more flexible than we ever thought possible, constantly reshaping themselves in response to our experiences. Do you know how you perceive the world around you? Picture this. A top-notch chef is bustling in the kitchen preparing a gourmet meal. As the chef chops, stirs, and tastes, their brain is buzzing, processing a symphony of sensory information. The sizzle of onions in a pan, the vibrant colors of fresh vegetables, the rough texture of a crusty loaf, the aromatic spices, and the tangy taste of lemon zest. These sensory experiences aren't just random signals, they're meticulously processed and interpreted by our brain's sensory systems. Vision, hearing, touch, taste and smell, each has a dedicated network of neurons that translate the world around us into a language our brain understands. This intricate process forms the very fabric of our perception. It's through these sensory systems that we navigate, interact with, and make sense of our environment. From the food we taste to the music we hear, our senses provide a rich tapestry of experiences all processed and interpreted by our amazing brains. Why can we dance to a rhythm or catch a ball mid-air? Let's take a leap into the world of motor systems and behavior. Our brain, the maestro of movement, conducts an intricate symphony of signals to control our actions, from basic reflexes to complex skills. Picture a professional dancer spinning and leaping across a stage with precision and grace. This captivating spectacle is made possible by a network of neural circuits, working in perfect harmony. It starts with the motor cortex, our choreographer planning and initiating movements. Then the cerebellum and basal ganglia, our dancers, fine-tune and execute these movements. 
Finally, the spinal cord, our stage, transmits signals to the muscles, culminating in a stunning performance. But remember, this neural ballet isn't exclusive to dancers. Whether it's performing a pirouette or simply typing on a keyboard, our brains coordinate every move we make. Ever wondered why some memories make you happy, while others make you sad? Imagine a woman named Jane. As she flips through an old photo album she stumbles upon a picture of her childhood home. Suddenly, she's transported back in time, the scent of her mother's apple pie wafting through the air. The sound of her father's laughter echoing in her ears. This is the power of memory, a function of the brain that allows us to store, retain, and later retrieve information. But memory isn't just about recalling facts and events. It's also intrinsically tied to our emotions. As Jane remembers her childhood, she feels a wave of nostalgia, a bittersweet emotion that washes over her. This emotional response is triggered by the amygdala, a small almond-shaped structure in the brain that plays a crucial role in emotional processing. Moreover, memory and emotions are deeply intertwined with our cognitive processes. As Jane reminisces, she's also engaging in learning, decision-making, and problem-solving. She's learning about her past, making decisions about what memories to dwell on, and problem-solving as she figures out how to reconcile her past with her present. These cognitive processes are governed by the prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for complex cognitive behavior and decision-making. But here's the thing, Jane's brain isn't unique. These processes occur in all our brains, shaping our experiences, our feelings, and our thoughts. The way we remember, the way we feel, the way we think, it's all orchestrated by the intricate network of neurons in our brain. So, the next time you find yourself reminiscing about the past, remember, it's not just a trip down memory lane, it's a journey through your brain, a testament to the incredible power of neuroscience. Our memories, emotions, and thoughts are all intricately woven into the fabric of our brains making us who we are. How does our brain grow and change from infancy to adulthood? This is a question that has captivated scientists and curious minds alike. Let's delve into this fascinating topic. Think of the brain as a tiny seed that sprouts into a massive, intricate tree. The seed, like a newborn's brain, is packed with potential. As a child grows, so does their brain, expanding and refining its intricate network of neurons. Just as a tree grows branches and leaves, the brain sprouts neural connections and pathways. This process is known as neural growth, but the brain doesn't just grow, it also changes. This is where the concept of neuroplasticity comes in. Neuroplasticity is like the tree's ability to bend and sway in the wind, adjusting to changes in its environment. Similarly, our brains can adapt to new experiences, learn new skills, and recover from injury. This remarkable ability shapes our behaviors, personalities, and identities throughout our lives. Now imagine trying to understand how this tree grows without being able to see it. That's where neuroimaging comes into play. Neuroimaging techniques are like the gardener's tools, allowing us to peek beneath the surface and observe the brain's transformation over time. From structural imaging techniques like MRI to functional techniques like fMRI and PET scans, we've gained unprecedented insights into the dynamic process of brain development. These tools have revealed how our brains mature, showing us that brain development is not a straightforward process. Like a tree that grows unevenly, with some branches reaching out further than others, different brain regions develop at different rates. And just as environmental factors like sunlight and soil quality affect a tree's growth, factors like nutrition, social interaction, and even love can shape our brain development. From a tiny neuron to a complex network our brains are a testament to the marvels of nature and science. As we journey through life our brains continue to grow, adapt and transform, reflecting our unique experiences and shaping who we are. So, the next time you learn something new or overcome a challenge, take a moment to appreciate the incredible work your brain is doing behind the scenes. As we conclude this enlightening journey through the brain, we realize that we've only scratched the surface of this complex organ. We've traversed the intricate landscapes of neurons, experienced the marvel of neuroplasticity, and delved into the sensory systems that shape our perception of the world. We've also navigated the motor systems driving our behavior, unlocked the neural secrets of memory, emotions and cognition, and witnessed the dynamic process of brain development. Just imagine, all of these wonders nestled within our skulls. Yet there's so much more to discover, so many more questions to answer. The field of neuroscience is a testament to our innate curiosity, our quest for understanding, our relentless pursuit of knowledge, 
Each insight, each discovery, brings us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the mind and brain. Remember, every new discovery brings us one step closer to understanding the mysteries of our own minds. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Until next time, keep exploring.